What's up guys? Welcome back to another Mega 23 video. We got Gridiron Guardians Part 2. We got new players, sex, house rules, and LTD. So I'm gonna go over all that and talk about something I really don't like that they did. Yay! So let's get started. So the masters for Part 2 are Nick Bosa who looks really, really good, and Eric Dickerson. Now, if you played Madden for a couple years, you know that Dickerson is a problem. And I do not want to face him. He looks really good, his stats are good, and I don't want to play him. So, we got alter egos, and basically, they're mentors, had a position. So, we got wide receiver, Gonker, quarterback, Fields, uh, tight end, Hagmans, and safety, Patterson. Some of them look good, but for the most part, these cards are good. Now, we're supposed to be getting new house rules, but as you see, it hasn't updated. It's the same from last week, and your rewards have not refreshed. Now, I'm not gonna do this because we still didn't get our 88s from the last house rules, so I'm not touching these until we get our 88s. But there's supposed to be new ones that are coming eventually. So we got new objectives in the field pass, hard stars, in solos, they added new solos. Um, what do we got? Pass for touchdowns, uh, tackles, stuff like that. So now you can reach the max level and get your 88 uh, fantasy pack. Now here's the thing I don't like. So, on Good Morning Madden, they showed level 16, you get an Alter Ego player. Now, I already reached that, and I got a Mentor player, which I don't mind. I prefer the Mentor over an Alter Ego. But, how are you gonna, you know, switch your alerts on the same level. Like, that's kind of a slap in the face. Like, if you're grinding for something and it changes, that's, that's pretty stupid. So, hopefully, the rewards didn't update yet. Or, I don't know if it will, because I, I got to level 16, but I don't know. That's pretty stupid. Like, I saw that and quickly grinded to 16. Because like I said, I'm like a mentor over the alter ego. But like I said, let's say you're grinding to 16. And you like a mentor over the alter ego. And it just switches. That's pretty stupid. Okay, hopefully they give you a choice and let me know in the comments if they do, but that's dumb if they don't. So in the store we got new bundles. Don't buy bundles. We're still on pack strike. Um, we haven't heard anything from EA. We got the streaming reroll. How many do them? We got DK Metcalf in packs, and we get a full pack. But they're gonna pull these Gaga Golds. These packs are really good. The market is stupid high right now. That's why I'm not buying training, but I keep buying these bundles, and I keep making profit because golds are like three to 4k and if you pull an 82 
you're making back your points. And if you pull like an 85 or an 87, that's profit. So these packs are really good. I think buying them make a profit. You see my coins are up. So if you're gonna buy anything, buy these bunkers. Of course, they're not gonna be good right now that I'm recording, but I promise you, these packs are good. Best packs in the game. But yeah, like I said, no yard from EA to have an acknowledged the pack strike at all. The only thing they said were they're aware of the house rules remarks, and that's it. There was no good morning Madden this morning because of the hurricane in Florida. By the way, hope everybody's okay. I saw pictures, it looked pretty bad. So, if you're in Florida, hope you're okay. But, yeah, they had no good morning Madden this morning, and they pushed Team Diamonds. At first, TJ said, till Friday. Now, it's sometime next week. We don't know. But I'm not preparing. Like I said, the market is too high. Can we get a week? I think uh, this is the last pick. No, we got no more. But yeah, the market's too high. We got no leaks. I'll pull one Great Iron Guardians pack just to show you how trash they are. 34k and you got three golds. This is so stupid. Like, EA, let us make these packs. 79, 83, okay, got something in a week. 77. So, despite 34k, 83s are like 17k. Not a total loss, but I think we got lucky. Don't buy these packs. So let's look at these stats. We got Nick Bosa first, going for about 800k. Um, a lot of right ends. We got Cameron Lake. We got the look at his face that just came out. Um, I can't think of his name. But 88 speed, 89 excel, 83 strike. 88 tackle, 87 play rep, 93 black shit. Wow. 87 power, and 92 finesse. This looks like a really good card. Nick Barsa usually gets snubbed in Madden, but this looks like a great card. Eric Dickerson going for around 800k too. And there's uh, quite a few up, so people are doing his set, probably. Um, he, he, his stats are great. Negative speed, 88 cell, 93 agility, 87 carrying, 70 touch, 99 change, 90 truck, 93 break tackle. Great stats. Best halfback in the game. And, like I said, I don't want to play this card. And lastly, we got the LTD. DK Medicare. Shout out to Asian K. But, he's got for a million coins. There's quite a few up. So, he's coming out of the training packs. Um, let me know in the comments if I should pull some of those. But, he's 6'3", 99 speed. 92 jump, 90 catch, uh, 90 short, 90 mid, 92 deep. He 
is a great card. Best receiver in the game. It's not even close. Six three, great speed, great card. So yeah, guys, that's Great Iron Guardians Part Two. I think it's really good. These players are really good. Metcalf, Bosa, Dickerson, really good players. Like I've been saying, the content is good. It's just the rewards and everything in, in the store, EA is behind. They need to do better than that. But the content is good, has been, been good. Well, let me know in the comments what you think. If you pull packs, let me know what you got. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my last video right here. And check out this playlist for more Maggie 23 content. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.